going to talk about the greatest gymnast the world has ever seen in Simone Biles. She's set to compete in all four events in the Olympic team finals despite a calf injury she tweaked during warm-up Sunday in Paris. 27-year-old already owns 37 career Olympic and world championship medals and is poised to make even more history. Biles will anchor the U.S. women's gymnastics team on the vault, the balance beam, floor exercises, and the uneven bars. I watched her yesterday. She was sensational. She did her thing, no question about it. I'm just reading some of this stuff because obviously I don't follow gymnastics that heavily. Ain't nobody about to sit here and lie to you and act like I'm some aficionado on gymnastics. But I know this much. She was sensational yesterday. I know what the hell I saw. I saw that balance beam. I saw her doing backflips and all of that. Other stuff. She was spectacular. Spectacular. She's special. She's won seven Olympic gold medals, uh, seven Olympic medals overall, four gold, one silver, two bronze. Um, at 27, she's the oldest female American gymnast to compete at the Olympics in 72 years. Okay, so we got to throw that out there. Four-time Olympic gold medalist, competing in her third Olympic Games. All right, four gold medals all came in 2016 games, winning in the team competition all around the vault and, of course, the floor exercise in 2020, if y'all remember. Uh, team USA won silver because she withdrew from several events, citing intense psychological pressure. In an interview with the Today Show at the time, Bob said that she was, quote, always, she always had anxiety, but that it got really bad in the months leading up to the Olympics. So somehow, some way to add to her story and her allure is the fact that whatever anxiety she was suffering from just four years ago, clearly she's on the verge of overcoming it because she showed up and showed out yesterday. She's won a record-breaking 30 world championship medals, 23 gold, 4 silver, and 3 bronze. Okay, making her the most decorated gymnast in world championships history by both a total medal and gold medal count. Now, I got to watch her as she goes around. You got the all-around competition coming up, all right? She did, uh, what does this hit here? Delivering four well-hit routines. Recorded a 59.566 in the all-around and qualifying the first place for the final. Her stiffest challenger for the all-around goal to expected to be Brazil's Rebecca Andre, the silver medalist at last year's world championships. And, and two balls, by the way. And fellow American, Suni, um, Suni Lee. Okay, so she won the all-around gold in Tokyo. First time in women's history, in women's gymnastics history, the last two defending Olympic champions in the all-around will be entering the all-around final at the Olympics as Biles won a title in 2016 while teammate Lee did it in Tokyo. So there's a lot to look forward to there. And that girl, Rebecca Andre from Brazil, we got to watch out for her. But all of us are rooting for Simone Biles, okay? Overcoming emotional and mental adversity, anxiety, et cetera, et cetera, and performing the way that she did yesterday. I just thought it would be nice to just pause for a second and give her some love. I was annoyed by what I saw at the Olympics with basketball. I was very happy with what I saw here from her during the Olympics, all right?